Well, hello, friends. Uh, just thought I'd give a towards the beginning of the week update. Um, had some good sparring last week. As you know, we got three new guys in. And two of them didn't show up yesterday. And we ran into those two. Uh, toward, in the evening, it was dark. Uh, I believe Joe was coming back from his final workout. And uh, me and Joe, we, we spent a lot of time alone, and then we got two other sessions that we work with other people. Uh, but we always have one session where it's just Joe and I. Uh, it's hard to get things done when you, you got a bunch of people, so that's why we do that. All right, so we ran into these two guys, and I told them uh, my cardinal rule was if you can't, you're expected every day, Monday through Friday, and if you can't come, it's mandatory and the cardinal rule that you WhatsApp us, and we check, we make sure that these guys have WhatsApp, we connect the numbers and all that. Uh, before anybody even starts. And these boys, the cardinal rule is you you let us know well in advance, I can't come. And the two guys didn't, didn't let us know anything and we ran into them last night out here in the neighborhood. And the guy comes up to me like, yeah, Nothing's happened. I'll see you tomorrow. And I was like, no, you won't be seeing me tomorrow. Because uh, you ain't coming. And I told the guy, you know, he was like shocked. And I'm like, you didn't remember the rule I told you. The, the rule. And I told him, I said, you know, take a couple of weeks and think about what you want to do. And if you want to start back with us, you uh, call me beforehand after 14 days have elapsed, and I'll discuss it with you. And the guy looked over at Joe and said, no, I told, uh, tell your dad I'll see him tomorrow, and I'm standing right there. And Joe looked over at this cat and he said, I ain't asking you, I'm telling you, uh, you ain't coming around for a minimum of two weeks. You go think, if you come up there in that gym, you won't be in there long. And I was like, wow. You know. So anyway, that's what happened with two of the guys. These two guys happened to be the uh, showing the better fighting skills, uh, even strength. But I told Joe at the beginning, I said, the one guy, he's a taller guy. And uh, I said, he's got more heart than these other two guys. And sure as the world, the other two don't show up. But the one I said had the heart in the beginning, uh, he showed up. So... I, I don't know how long it'll last with those three new guys, but we'll see. Uh, but one thing's for sure, when they when they come back in, uh, the next time they spar, it won't it won't be Joe just throwing a jab and putting a jab in the face. I'm gonna tell Joe, open up 25 to 30 percent of what you can do and uh, do a, do whatever series of combinations you want to do and go to the body and the head. It's both your left hand and your right hand. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I thought I'd give a quick update uh, to that. In this thing, we wish every single one of you a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we hope that the Lord bestows a plethora 
of blessings upon you and your family.